Hello friends, myself Dr. Lofman. This is our second video on health tube about coronavirus. In this video, I am going to answer some of the frequently asked questions about coronavirus. Many of my friends and uh, patients have been asking me a lot of questions uh, because of the you know fake news and a lot of information they are getting. So these are the facts which I take full responsibility after the research. So come on, uh, let's take some questions and answer those one. I have enlisted some of the questions here. Uh, first questions most of my friends ask is, does alcohol kills coronavirus? Um, answer is no. Alcohol drinking or applying on the hands or any uh, alcohol or chlorine or anything to the whole body also, it does not kill coronavirus. So don't believe such myths that, you know, drinking alcohol or applying alcohol will kill coronavirus. No, it does not. Let's be clear on that. Second most commonly asked question is, is coronavirus more dangerous than seasonal flu? Yes, when people have come to know that this uh, coronavirus is almost uh, very similar to seasonal flu, the same virus uh, family it belongs to. So they have some thoughts whether it is more serious or not. Or some people may believe it is not more serious. It is like a seasonal flu, etc. But it is not like that. It is very dangerous when compared to seasonal flu because it is highly transmissible. It is a new type of uh, viral uh, strain and we don't have any vaccination and treatment also. And there is uh, no immunity in uh, to any person in this world. So in that case, it is more dangerous and it can spread. Uh, at a very uh, high speed when compared to other seasonal flus. So coming to third question, should we avoid public transport or gatherings? Uh, no, uh, uh, my dear friends, uh, it is not mandatory to avoid uh, any public gatherings or uh, transport. Only if uh, uh, their suspected of uh, coronavirus cases are positive or you know cluster of cases have been seen or a community spread has been seen of the coronavirus, then you know you need to avoid the public gatherings or um, public transports. Until then, uh, it is not uh, suggested. So let's be clear on that. Fourth question most uh, commonly asked uh, about uh, this coronavirus is, does face masks protect uh, us from the viruses? Um, answer is no. Uh, face mask does not uh, protect you from viruses it does not mean uh, that i am trying to tell you that you know you don't use face marks obviously face marks will prevent you at uh, like 70 to 80 percent of protection from the viruses can be um, protected by using face marks but you know viruses can enter via eyes also it can uh, um, have any other entry also and face marks are also not that much uh, you know efficient in protecting 100 percent or stopping the 100 percent uh, you know entry of the viruses so don't completely rely on face marks uh, also obviously we should use face marks to prevent as much as possible so coming to fifth question, how much time it will take to develop the vaccine or treatment? No, it cannot be said. Even though the scientists have uh, discovered and also, you know, uh, known about the complete genome of the virus very fast, but uh, many of the scientists and many of the universities have been telling that more than one year to one and a half year time it can take to develop the vaccine or treatment for these viruses. So let's be clear on that. Sixth question some people ask is, you know, uh, can dogs or cats or any pet animals catch coronavirus or spread the coronavirus? Yes, it is possible, you know, without, uh, if in an in our area, if human beings are not affected, it is possible, you know, the cats or dogs or any pet animals uh, can be uh, infected by that virus as seen in Hong Kong and Italy also some of the cases has been seen. So that also we have to keep in our mind. Seventh questions which people have been asking is, does coronavirus only infect older people? No, it is not like that. Uh, it can affect to any person, whether it be children or adults or, you know, young people or uh, older people also. But yeah, it is more understandable that because older people are having lesser immune power because of many of their uh, age related diseases like hypertension or heart diseases or diabetes. So the immunity power will, you know, uh, range a bit uh, lower level. So more, they are more prone to develop or get infected with coronavirus, but it is, uh, it is not so like uh, it only affects the elder people it can affect to any person let's be very clear on that 
um the other question uh, eighth question most people ask is you know what is the source of the virus uh, uh, previously it was thought you know it it was very unclear from where this virus is coming but recently the china government has uh, traced its spot you know the virus is purely spreading from the animals it was from animal to human being then now it has been spreading from person to person so the source is animal uh, uh, for this corona virus ninth question which most people have been asking and i have myself seen many of the uh, people keeping their statuses and videos you know like will warm temperature or high temperature or the opposite like cold weather or the snow uh, kill the uh, temperate uh, corona virus or stop the outbreak of the corona virus no it is completely uh, unclear as of now and there is no evidence about that one even there are many seasonal flus other type of corona virus common cold flus which can affect in all the uh, temperature conditions so let uh, let not believe on this uh, uh, message uh, that you know warm temperature or increasing the temperature will uh, have effect on this virus it is not clear tenth question i have myself seen lot of uh, images talking about this like you know uh, like paracetamol itself is enough for the prevention or the treatment for corona virus the most question has been asked so it is a false statement it it does not uh, stop the corona virus infection and also it does not treat uh, because the one of the symptom of the corona virus infection is uh, fever so paracetamol is anti pyretic like you know it will uh, prevent the fever but uh, it is uh, it is enough for the treatment or it will prevent from the virus it is a complete false statement it is a myth so don't believe that statement 11th question most people ask is you know can this corona virus get transferred or can we get infected by mosquito bites there is no uh, um, information about you know transfer of viruses by mosquito bite there are very less viruses almost equal to know that you know which are transferred by mosquito bites as of now experimentally also mosquito bites cannot transfer the corona virus it does not mean that you should not get prevent, um, protected by mosquito bites 12th uh, question most people ask is you know uh, like uh, can the vaccines about, uh, of other viruses or like uh, pneumonia or any other vaccine can uh, prevent the corona virus no it does not prevent because vaccines are actually produced by exact uh, studying the methodology of the infection of that virus and the strain it uh, gets by the mutation so every virus has or every bacteria has its own uh, vaccination it doesn't help in uh, protecting from other viruses so let's uh, clear on that busting of myth uh, 13th most common question asked is you know like uh, can eating garlic or onion prevent infection from corona virus i have myself seen lot of uh, uh, images and videos you know like garlic and onion will help protection from viruses garlic and onion have itself a lot of uh, health benefits like metabolic health benefits also and microbial uh, antimicrobial health benefits also but it does not have any effect on prevention of uh, corona virus let's be clear on that 14th question and the most common question is you know can we take any antibiotics or already present antivirals there are lots of antivirals present in the market so can we take uh, those antibiotics and antivirals uh, for you know like uh, for the sake of safety let's prevent ourselves on a broader perspective people have been asking but no it does not have any effect on corona virus and taking that actually could affect your usual health because you know there are uh, different antibiotics and different antivirals are prescribed on different uh, health conditions depending upon the illness right so if you take on a mass level or a bulky medicines it may actually affect your health and you know you would be more prone to that viral infection so these are the most uh, uh, frequently asked questions about corona virus which i thought as a part of my responsibility will answer if you have any other questions please ask or comment in our video and we we'll be helping you to go through with those information which are most authentic medically explained i hope this video is helpful to you thank you do share to your friends be safe be healthy